uh, today I'm going to explain this library to uh, integrate in your project uh, with other scripting languages like PHP because I tried a lot to find this library to use with uh, other server side scripting language but I didn't find a single result in Google uh, all, are ex all are explaining about, uh, about Node.js so if anyone do not know Node.js then how you will use this library in your project okay so now I have just uh, created a new app using create react app test and which is in process let me uh, let it be completed first okay so it seems done so let me start the server uh, first, uh, we will have to go inside the project. Okay, so my server is running. Okay, now I'm going to in that folder seems working okay fine so now uh, we should install this library you can find the instructions here how to install this just copy this and open your command prompt here paste it it is Okay, so I have just installed this library. Now let us see how to use this in our project. Okay, so this no need of these files and put in the Twitter login from react Twitter pop fine you can see there is not any error coming now we need to Copy this now. You'll see a Twitter login button on our page. Okay, we have not defined first. We should use. class component actually then we will adjust we are just copying this inside this and delete our functional component a comment is not defined, component is not defined. Which component is component is not defined? Okay, so here is the problem. I think we need to react. Okay, so 
now you can see this okay <clears throat> so you can see there are two urls mentioned for requesting token and login url so here you need to uh, need to mention your uh, request token url uh, that you are uh, fetching by using your php script okay so i have created this file in php basically uh, this project uh, this project is in uh, ya2 so these are the action you can see how i am using this okay so <clears throat> now request token so uh, you just need to keep your whatever your domain name is suppose example.com and it's my controller twitter so twitter request token and this is the login url which we need to mention here login. so let me explain the process how this library handle such things okay so first once uh, as soon as you click on the button this uh, an ajax request goes to this url and get the access token okay now and uh, on the basis of uh, this access token it internally uh, calls the login uh, twitter login uh, url to uh, let user the correct URL <coughs> Sorry. now you can see uh, I have just entered the uh, uh, now my working project uh, details to explain this uh, library so once you log in okay so uh, when you uh, when you return back on your return URL uh, this library redirects you uh, close the close the pop-up and uh, sends uh, another ajax request to uh, to use the logged in user details so in that case uh, internally internally uh, it sends the request to this url once everything seems fine at this url a user is successfully logged in then uh, this library uh, sends another request at this URL, okay, where you can uh, save everything inside your database uh, of the logged in user, okay. So I hope you actually in this uh, I have used the most famous uh, library to use the tutor auth, auth uh, which is uh, you can see, yeah, Abraham. Now uh, you can you can find this library over Google. This is the most famous uh, uh, PHP SDK to use Twitter OAuth. Okay. So I hope this uh, video will help you to integrate this because you will not find any uh, any a single result to integrate Twitter OAuth using PHP. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video.